a child of God, we're mighty blessed people. I want you to turn your uh, hymn books to number 322. This is a familiar hymn, and I typically would lead a chorus uh, that is not a familiar hymn, and and just choruses most of the time. But I was reading uh, the story behind uh, this song, Stand Up, uh, Stand Up for Jesus. There was a young preacher by the name of Dudley Ting, T-Y-N-G, Uh, He was kicked out of his church because he was preaching against slavery. And uh, because he preached against it, his uh, denomination kicked him out. But he was a good Christian. He was a soul winner. And he began to win young people, children, teenagers to the Lord. And he began to have Sunday school classes uh, at the local YMCA uh, where he lived there in New England. And uh, his Sunday schools grew to 5,000. 5,000 people. And uh, he was a a strong uh, preacher uh, of the Word of God. He made a statement in a sermon one day. He said, I'd rather have my right arm severed to the trunk than to not deliver God's message on Sunday morning. That's what he said. It was interesting, a few weeks after that, he was in his barn and uh, he had a mule that was uh, threshing uh, corn or crushing corn and uh, his, uh, his uh, shirt sleeve got hung in the cog and it literally tore his arm. Uh, tore his arm uh, from his body. In fact, he died from that injury. On his deathbed, he was visited by his Sunday school uh, superintendent. His Sunday school superintendent, his name is there on that hymn, uh, George Duffield. And uh, George Duffield said to the preacher, Dudley Ting, he said, what message do you have for young Christians? And he said, stand up. Stand up for Jesus. When he made that statement, the, the su- superintendent, George Duffield, went home and he wrote a poem, Stand Up for Jesus. It became this hymn that has been around a long time. You know, it's obvious today that, the, that there are groups of all kinds, they're willing to stand. In fact, they're in your face For the wickedness and the sin of the day, God's people need to stand. Yes, we're supposed to be kind. I understand that, but we're not supposed to be quiet. Here's a great song. I want you to sing the song thinking of that story and where it came about. Stand up for Jesus, number 322. Stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall be lead. Till every foe is vanquished. And Christ is Lord indeed. We'll sing the second as the last now. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the trumpet call obey. For to the mighty conflict in this his glorious day, ye that are men now serve him. singing. 